Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> okay so I look a little rough right now because in light of the challenge that I'm about to do I just got out of my workout and as soon as I finish this I'm taking a shower because I'm a little afraid of what I'm about to put on my face right now. <laughs> so today we are gonna do the dollar store makeup challenge. So everything I'm using today excluding my brushes only cost me a dollar and I'm gonna use my regular brushes just to try to give this stuff a fair shot and I have everything I need for a full face except for <sighs> concealer and translucent powder I think that's the only two things I'm missing and like setting spray but I don't have to have that for the purposes of this video so I have everything else and I'm a little scared you guys <clears throat> So I guess what we're going to do is just go ahead and jump right into this challenge. Okay, so the first thing I've got here, I couldn't find like a foundation, but I found like a, a BB cream. And I actually know somebody who used to actually use this for her every day, so like maybe it's not too bad. But I grabbed the lightest shade they had, which... Uh, it, it doesn't have a shade name on it. I took everything out of the packages. But I got the lightest shade and I'm terrified. This is still not going to be light enough for Florence because I'm pale. So we're going to zoom in. And uh, yeah, so let's see how this goes. I'm just going to take this. Ooh, it's coming out on its own. And put some on the back of my hand. Oh, it's so gross, you guys. Look at this. Focus. Oh, it's so gross. Okay. <clears throat> Not going to focus on it. I'm just going to dab this on my face. I don't have primer because they didn't have primer. So this is what we've got. And if my face is all kinds of broken out tomorrow, I did it for you guys. I think I got way too much of this. We're just going to go with it. So I'm going to take a stippling brush, which is how I do my foundation most days. And just blend it in this way. Maybe I'm wrong. This is definitely not too dark for me. <laughs> I think I found a color that is too light for me. Oh. <laughs> this is horrible, you guys. Absolutely tragic. Like... I can't right now and this doesn't look so bad <laughs> except for in the viewfinder it looks absolutely horrible what is this on my face oh my gosh okay y'all so this is really really bad off the jump and I'm going to show you what I mean like you see how pasty this made me and I'm already a pasty person let me turn this brightness down and it's not that bad <laughs> it's still pretty bad though like I ain't gonna lie so we're gonna leave that brightness down until I bronze my face up which since I don't have concealer I guess that's what we're doing next you guys so I found this LA Colors bronzer. I'm not gonna knock this. Sometimes LA Colors really isn't that bad. <clears throat> However, now we're gonna do this little baby brush. We're gonna chunk it. Because we ain't using that, we're gonna give this a fair shot, and I'm gonna use my big bronzer blush that I always use and just try to carve my face out. Maybe. Okay, so uh, <laughs> that didn't really fix issues at all, but um, I mean it's not a horrible bronzer, like it's just a little too orange, I guess it blended okay, I don't have enough light to really tell because if I turn that light on, but 
I can't even lie to y'all. This really is probably some of the worst bronzer I've ever tried. But that's all right. <clears throat> now we're going to go on to a blush. Um, almost everything I got was really LA Colors. This first thing was like sassy and chic. Whatever brand that is. So then I got an LA Colors blush. And I tried to get a color that's actually something I would use. And again, that's going over there. And we're going to use a real blush brush. And just dip into this. And try to brighten up these cheeks a little bit. This blush is like pretty stinking pigmented though. No, no lies. Whew. Let's see if we can blend it a little bit. Nope. We can't blend it. That's okay. It's okay. Okay. So, now it's time for the eyes. And just so I could be super extra for you guys and try out some legit stuff, I got an eyeshadow palette. And that's going over there. So this is an LA Colors eyeshadow palette. This is all blue. <laughs> I kid you not. So we are going to try this first and see what we can come up with. Um, I'm just going to lay down the white all over my lid. Oh, dear goodness, you guys. Okay, so then I'm going to take my Morphe 441, and I'm just going to dip into, like, this gray right here, and then this dark blue right here, and put those in my crease and see what happens. Okay, so, so I'm going to take, take this darker blue, gray, whatever color this is, <clears throat> and put that in the outer corner and try to make it smoky-ish. Okay guys, so now I'm going to take this silver up here. And I'm going to put this on my lid. Okay. I'm going to go into this white right there. And put that in my inner corner and my brow bone to highlight. So, no hate, that, uh, that white's pretty pigmented, not gonna lie. It's the best thing I've gotten out of this look so far. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> I found, again, some LA Colors Liquid Liner for a dollar. <sighs> and we're gonna try... Oh, it stinks. Y'all, I can't wait to wash this off my face and it's not even on there yet. That's how real this is. But we're going to try to do liner. And see how this goes. So that really is not the worst liner I've ever used. That was kind of nice. Not gonna lie. So, let's 
so we're gonna do the other eye off camera because I suck at wings but I got one one so now I gotta try to get another one hold on <laughs> okay guys so that first wing that turned out all right this one I learned that if you try to go over the same spot once it's already dry it rips off the eyeliner rips it it just started coming off and this is what I got but that wings actually really nice though it's maybe the new kind of applicator I like but this smells super funny I don't I don't want it on my face <laughs> okay so we have got mascara and I'm not gonna hate on this because this is actually wet and wild it's their mega wear mascara and this is actually a brand that I usually like a lot doesn't smell too funny has a pretty decent little wand so we're just gonna put on some mascara that's a pretty bomb mascara for a dollar like I mean it's not just phenomenal but stuff works look at this can you see it? I don't know if you can see it but it works <clears throat> so other eye uh, off camera okay you guys so I've got two steps left and first oh this made my whole heart and soul y'all they had fake lashes at the dollar store and they even come with their own glue which means I may be blind when I wake up tomorrow just a heads up so if my videos stop coming this is what happened because this is probably not at all safe but you know we're gonna try it okay so this is the lash and this is our little glue <laughs> and we're about to see what happens I don't know if I can figure out how to open the glue I think this is a brush on glue I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse Oh, the stinks. Okay, guys. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to put the other one on. I don't know if this one's going to stay. I'm almost convinced that they just put super glue in here with these lashes, and I shouldn't be laughing because I just put it on my eye. It's probably not super glue, but it smells like it. And I didn't have to wait for it to get tacky at all. Like it just stuck. And it was there. Which, you know, that's cool. Except for this very annoying smell of super glue. It makes me uncomfortable. Okay. <clears throat> Other lash. Oof. Here's why I think this is super glue. The minute it touched my eye. <laughs> It was stuck and you can't move it there's there's absolutely no 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 wiggle room none at all nowhere I'm gonna show you these close up in a second <laughs> okay I'm sorry it's poking me in the eye now that's not funny <clears throat> but first I'm gonna do my lips and y'all this is another LA Colors I feel like I'm bashing the brand and I promise I'm really not. This is just what they had at my dollar store. So we have a lip duo. We got a lipstick over here and a lip topper gloss thing over there. And this is in the color Pleasure. So, <laughs> go ahead and put that on. So this is bright. And a lot more pigmented than what I thought it would be. We're gonna put our lip topper on it. <laughs> okay, guys. So, uh, this is our final look. <laughs> Y'all, I can't. Okay. No hate. LA Colors is a decent brand. They have some random products that I've always kind of liked. Like, sometimes I find their stuff at Walmart. <gasps> Ooh, I forgot. This is what I like because I forgot a step. 
these are their um, <clears throat> little eyeshadow pots, right? So I got the gold and I wanted to use it as a highlight. Because I remember growing up, I'm talking even junior high and high school, <laughs> this is the kind of makeup I had. I mean, this was, this is pretty much it. Like, I didn't get heavy into makeup until, like, after college, probably. So, this was my jam. <laughs> like, I had the blue and the purple, and I wore them everywhere. Literally everywhere. We're going to pour some of this into here. Okay, so here is what that eyeshadow looks like when you pour it out. And, uh, yeah, like, this is just what I actually wore on my eyes every day. And I recently saw somebody post the gold one of these. And, uh, they called it a trophy wife dupe, which I actually could see that. Because these are really pigmented, like, super pigmented. As soon as you pick them up, don't know that it would last very long. But look at that highlight. Like, that's blinding, you guys. If you, if you didn't know, that is what blinding looks like. <clears throat> so for real, all jokes aside, so my face is kind of a joke right now we're gonna go through this okay so this little BB cream um, had it been the correct color and not been a thousand shades too light for me which is weird it's a really light medium coverage now I haven't oh y'all I'm distracting myself I haven't worn it all day so I don't know how it wears or anything but it is really light once you get it on it's a kind of weird texture but it's light Medium-ish coverage. It only comes in like three shades though. At my dollar store. Like I don't know about yours. But at my dollar store it comes in like three shades. Maybe on a good day. So if you're one of those shades. Might enjoy this. It's not quite my color. But. Actually now that I'm all. Done. The foundation is not the worst part. <laughs> okay I'm stopping. Okay. Um, so the bronzer. It's just too orange and like it doesn't blend very well. Blush, too pigmented. Is that, that's crazy, too pigmented. Too pigmented, doesn't, doesn't blend well. I tap my brush off and it's still just like crazy. Ridiculous. This, for real blinding, they're only a dollar. You can find them in different colors. This is Honeysuckle. Which is like a kind of champagne-y gold kind of feel. And, uh, that actually makes a really good highlight. Like if you use it, I, I didn't really use the right brush. I used this random brush here because I can't find my M501. But if you use the right brush, I'm pretty sure like that could be a bomb highlight. And that's a dollar. If you're on a budget, grab you some little LA Color Pigment Pots. Highlight. <clears throat> Okay, so this palette, this is a joke. It's just a joke, like this is this is not nice. I don't I don't like it. It didn't blend good. The white was super pigmented, like I would almost get this just to have this inner corner pop thing going on. But other than that one shade, I don't like it. I just don't, I can't, I'm sorry. The eyeliner, the applicator is pretty nice. Smells funny, so I wouldn't recommend putting it on your eyes because I probably shouldn't have. But if you really need some liquid eyeliner and you're in a pinch, this didn't do a horrible job. And it dried down pretty matte. Smudge proof ish. I'm sure if I rubbed it, it would come off pretty easy, but you know, I touched it and it's still there, kind of, you know, whatever. Mascara, not bad. 
not the best, but it's a dollar. I don't know about you, but if I get out the house and I don't have any mascara, no. Like, especially if I do all my other makeup and I'm absent-minded and sometimes I just forget my mascara, which is ridiculous and I have to like dig through everywhere. If you're out of town and you forget your mascara and you only got a dollar, mascara, dollar. It's not bad though and it doesn't smell bad and Wet n Wild is a really good brand so I'm going to give it its props. It's alright. Uh, this lip color, it's pigmented. It went on well. I know it is not, not transfer proof like not not even a little bit like that that comes off it's a regular lipstick but I mean if you like this orange color maybe you want it probably don't but you might you never know different people different things it's not bad though it was only a dollar so yeah, lipstick's all right I think they had some other colors I think I just grabbed that one it's like maybe the other colors were really dark and I was afraid they'd be really streaky. I don't remember. Then these lashes. <laughs> the glue has to be super glue. Well, probably not super glue, but it smells like super glue. And I'm going to show you. Okay, these lashes are not absolutely horrible. Like, I don't know. I mean, they're they're decent little lashes but that glue didn't do me no favors like see there it it hates me so the glue is going to be a pass because that one just came all the way off but uh the lashes aren't so bad they're actually almost cute-ish kind of they're not bad. I mean, if you want to try to learn how to put on some fake lashes, get these for a dollar. Give it a shot. See if you know how to put them on. But grab you some Duo Lash Glue from Walmart for like three dollars first. And we're zoomed in and y'all, my face looks terrible. Except for this highlight though. Highlight is off the chain. Everything else. Except for this. My highlight. I could do without this entire all this right now because all this is just so it doesn't blend and it just looks so so bad it's so bad okay I gotta zoom back out because I'm about to get mad at myself <clears throat> okay so <laughs> that is my dollar makeup challenge everything's from the dollar store yeah <laughs> So let me know how y'all feel. Do you do you like this highlight? Like that that's the only legitimate question I have out of all of this. Do you like this highlight? Because like I could legitimately see myself like going back into this for this highlight. Cause that's like blinding. Um I like that part. But is there anything y'all do like? Uh did you enjoy this? Was this funny to you? Well it's funny to me, I don't know. But uh, if you want to see some more challenges like this, let me know in the comments and leave me some suggestions of what kind of challenges I can do that you would enjoy. Um, I've been thinking about doing the whole like no brush challenge or something like that because I want to add some different stuff because I feel like I'm always doing reviews and unboxings and I just want to do something fun. Which reviews and unboxings are fun too because I like new makeup. But this is really fun. Like I've had this stuff sitting in a drawer for probably three months thinking about doing this video and someone was like, hey, why don't you do a challenge? And I was like, hey, why, why don't I do a challenge? I got challenge stuff. So uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoy. I will see y'all again. I think on Saturday, y'all don't hold me to this, I never know what day I'm posting videos, but I think this is Thursday, <laughs> maybe. So that means I'll see you on Saturday, um, let me know what you want to see next in the comments. Hope y'all have an incredible day, be sure to like this video if you want to see more challenges, 
and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me in general. But uh, I will see y'all later. Bye, you guys.